here I am on my Bayliner 4788. And uh, for the past year or so, my horns just have not been working well here on the boat. Um, essentially, I get nothing. I bought a uh, Toronado, which is what the model FIAM, F-I-A-M-M, Toronado horns. I bought a kit from eBay, but it turns out there are different types of Toronado horns, and the kit they sent me was completely wrong. So I found a vendor, and I'll pop his name up here, but uh, who shipped me the correct FIAM kit, and I'll put the part number on this video as well. And I'm going to go install this kit on both of the horns. The kits are a per horn, per horn kit, um, so make sure that you get two if both your horns need replacing. Now here's what you get in the approved proper VM kit. Okay, starting from down here, this is a little bell that goes inside uh, to compress against the horn. And that little dimple, you adjust it with whoa, big finger. Uh, this little doohickey right there. There are three screws to hold the housing on. Then you've got a gasket, the mylar, and then this you put on the horn when you're complete and seal everything up. Now you're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver, standard size, and a very small bladed flathead screwdriver um, because the adjuster that goes on the housing, this little teeny little screw there, has a very small screw head. So you need to make sure that you've got uh, something that will fit in there. The instructions are pretty straightforward, but here's how you reassemble everything. As you assemble everything, make sure that you put the adjustment screw into the housing. Then you start with the rubber diaphragm, you put the mylar on top of that, then you put the tone disc on top of that with the dimple facing so the screw can go into it, and then this is going to go over that. And then I'm going to start the screws into it before I then install it out on the boat. Before you re reassemble everything, it's very important to clean out the inside of the horn to make sure that there's no critters in there. When I bought my boat a couple of years ago, both horns were filled with spider web debris and they were unusable even if they did work, which it turns out they didn't. So take a handy piece of clothes hanger and just ram it through both of the horns, making sure there's nothing in there to get in the way. Oops. And I'm going to do it from both ends. Here we are with the first horn installed and the second one about to go on. Right now only one of the horns works, so I'll show you how I'm going to troubleshoot it. First, let's see how it sounds. Since I can't tell which horn it is, I'm going to take a dish towel and stuff it in one horn and see if that makes it muted and then step, stick it in the other one. That way I'll know which one I need to adjust. So when I stick the towel in the top horn, it goes mute. And when I stick it in the bottom horn, nothing happens, no change. So I know it's the bottom horn that I need to fiddle with. So now I'm going to mess with the adjusting screw on it and see if I can't get some noise out of it. These are very fussy horns. Um, it, less than an eighth of a turn one way or another, and they'll go dramatically quiet, half a turn one direction or the other, and they'll go completely silent. So I had to fuss back and forth, but now let's hear the final result. I just put the covers on, little plastic uh, mylar metal covers, and that way the screws won't jiggle around, and we are good to go. That's what a big boat should sound like. 